Hello and welcome. This is Katie. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am back with another project for Maker Forte and today we're going to create a set of four bar cards. I decided to do just because and thinking of you and thinking of you's can be used in place of with sympathy cards. So it out gives you like a double duty card to have in your stash so that if you need a sympathy card, you've got one. And if you want just something to let somebody know you're thinking about them, you've got that too. So we're going to use some heavyweight white cardstock. This measures two and a quarter in, I'm sorry, two and a half inches wide by four inches long. And our card base is actually going to measure uh, seven inches wide by four and seven eighths. And it's going to be scored at three and a half inches. The stamps I'm using is the Boho Watercolors stamp set and the Hugs stamp set from Alex Siberia and Maker Forte. And I'm going to ink up my floral image first and the hugs floral image is kind of like an l shape and so i didn't want that whole image i just wanted a portion of that image so that's why i've set that up in the misty and i do have a piece of sticky grid underneath that uh, cardstock to keep it in place and then once i have that outline from this initial stamping I can reset everything up and you saw that I did all those uh, panels there's six of them and now I'm going to get into the stamping so I stamp each color this is bubble tea twice and now I'm coming in with icy mist and then I'm going to come in with some Versamark frost the Versamark Dazzle and Frost. And what's great about this is that it's got a shimmer to it already. So the shimmer actually sticks to the stamp kind of long term unless you wipe it totally clean. But with the embossing glaze, it it's hard to see on camera. You're not going to be able to see it. But it offers a nice subtle shimmer under that glaze, which is really cool. I only did it in speckled egg because I was kind of experimenting to see how it would look uh, with this particular layout. Uh, but now I'm going to come back in and we're going to do some more stamping. So I'm basically just taking one of the brush strokes uh, that the stamp that's included in the Boho watercolors. There's actually two of them and I'm offsetting them. So all you see me doing here is offsetting, but I have everything set up in the Misty so that I can roll right through and do multiples. Now the first time I forgot to use my anti-static powder tool before using the Versamark ink. And so um, I made sure to do that here and of course through the rest of the panel. Now I'm not going to do all the stamping with you on camera. You can get the idea that I'm just you know, giving some space in between and you see with the layout from the photos. Um, I definitely recommend with the embossing glaze to heat underneath first. Let your gun get nice and hot and then start underneath and then go to the top. I found I got a lot smoother result um, and not so splotchy uh, by really putting that heat gun underneath. So here's our panel. So this is the embossing glaze and speckled egg. This is our bubble tea and icy mist there on the left and now we've done our stamping on the right side is how our panel was initially stamped but I actually flipped the panel around and went ahead and stamped our sentiment that way and that way it puts our floral image right up there at the top left and I've got some foam squares behind all these one the the panels and adding it to our card base I do add some liquid glue to those because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room to move that around and get it in place but here's our our cards I think they're so cute I really love four bar cards um, one thing I like about making smaller cards, a lot of times I'll do tags also if I'm trying to design a layout. I'm not sure how it's going to look, but I don't want to waste a bunch of supplies creating a full card. Small cards like this or creating a tag is super helpful. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Be sure and check the description box below for the products used and a link to the Crafter Party Maker Forte's Facebook group and join us over there. We love to see what you guys are creating. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video.